Hello, I'm Bojan Pavlovic from GB Times Serbia. The top news today, not only in Southeast Europe, but in EU generally, is that Croatia became the 28th member of the European Union. It is the bloc's first edition since Romania and Bulgaria joined the EU in 2007. Croatia became the second former Yugoslav Republic which joined the bloc after Slovenia, which was admitted in 2004. This is a historic turning point for the country of some 4.4 million people which went through a civil war after declaring independence from the former Yugoslavia in 1991. Yesterday, thousands of people joined in the celebration across the country, including in the main square of the Croatian capital, Zagreb, where artists performed for dozens of EU and regional leaders, except the German Chancellor Angela Merkel. Earlier, she cited a full workload to excuse herself from the event. Both Croatian media and the opposition labeled her decision a diplomatic slap. At midnight, big fireworks and the singing of Beethoven's Ode to Joy marked the official entry into the bloc. The reaction in Croatia have been rather mixed. I'm afraid everything will go far, far too expensive than it used to be. So. I don't think it's going to bring anything very, very useful to us. Maybe, maybe, I hope it will bring law and order, because that's what we need. I'm really proud about this moment as a young person, and uh, I feel warm in my heart because of this. Croatia's accession comes with the Adriatic country in the fifth year of recession, and with unemployment rate around 20%. Also. Croatia's per capita GDP is 61% of the EU average, which places the country at the bottom of the ranking, above Romania and Bulgaria. I also want to say that according to a recent survey, only 49% of Croatians believe their country will benefit from the EU membership. The top news in this region is also about the European Union. On Friday, EU heads of state and government decided that accession talks with Serbia will begin no later than January 2014. European Council President Herman von Rompuy said that this decision is a historic moment for the Balkans and all of Europe. Very important for Serbia is the fact that there are no more requirements, although EU leaders will confirm the decision for the talks of the uh, the framework for the talks with Serbia before they start. On Friday, EU heads also decided to start talks on the stabilization and association agreement with Kosovo. And after Friday's decision of the European Council, Serbian Prime Minister Ivica Dacic said that the technical organization of preparation for talks with the EU has already started this weekend. That is said that EU membership talks will at best take four to five years if Serbia builds partnership with EU countries successfully and gains the trust of key international factors. For instance, Slovenia became a member after eight years of negotiation and it took a decade of negotiation for Croatia. That's all for today. Thanks for following GB Times. We are also on Facebook and Twitter. Goodbye for now.